Bonnie and Clyde, a pair synonymous with notoriety and passion, painted the early 1930s with a trail of crime and romance. In a time of hardship and hopelessness, these two figures emerged, bold and unapologetic, leaving an indelible mark on history. Let's take a moment to meet our protagonists. Clyde Barrow, a young man brought up in the harsh clutches of poverty in West Dallas, found solace and perhaps a sense of power in a life of crime. Bonnie Parker, a woman with dreams larger than the confines of her circumstances, yearned for more. She was not satisfied with a life of mediocrity and was willing to risk it all for a taste of the extraordinary. Like two pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, Bonnie and Clyde found in each other a kindred spirit, a shared ambition that was as fierce as it was dangerous. Their paths crossed, and as if by some cosmic design, the connection was instant, the bond, unbreakable. They fell in love, not in the quiet comfort of normalcy, but in the thrilling and perilous world they chose to inhabit. Their love story was not one for the faint-hearted. It was a saga of desire and defiance, a tale of two people who sought more from life, who dared to break boundaries, to challenge the norm. They were not just lovers, they were partners in crime, literally and metaphorically. Together, they embarked on a journey that would take them down a road less traveled, a road that would lead them to fame, fear, and eventually, their downfall. Their tale, though infamous, is one of two people who fell in love and decided to carve their own path, no matter the cost. As their love blossomed, so did their life of crime embarking on a two-year spree that would etch their names into history. This isn't the typical love story, it's not about stolen kisses under the moonlight or sweet nothings whispered in the dark. It's about stolen goods, whispered plans of robberies, and a love that defied the norm. Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow were not your average lovers, they were criminals, outlaws, and yet, they were in love. Their crime spree began in the year 1932. It was a time of hardship, a time when many were driven to desperation. For Bonnie and Clyde, this desperation took the form of robberies, heists, and even killings. Their life of crime wasn't glamorous, but it was theirs, a twisted testament to their love and commitment. Bonnie, the ambitious dreamer, and Clyde, the seasoned criminal, were a formidable pair. Their audacious crimes caught the eye of the nation, transforming them into national celebrities. Front page news, their faces on every paper, their names on everyone's lips, Bonnie and Clyde were the epitome of infamy, but there's a stark contrast between their public image and the reality of their life. Their celebrity status was a far cry from the constant fear and uncertainty they lived in. They were always on the edge, always looking over their shoulders, always ready to run. Their life was a paradox, a blend of fame and fear, of love and crime. This was no glamorous Hollywood movie. This was real life, filled with real danger and real consequences. Their life was a constant game of cat and mouse with the law. They were always on the run, always under the threat of being caught. And yet, they persevered. They vowed to stay together, to face whatever came their way together, bound by a love that was as fierce as it was forbidden. Despite their fame, they lived in fear, constantly on the run, yet bound by their vow to stay together. Their reign of terror did not go unnoticed, and soon, the law was hot on their heels. Enter Frank Hamer, a retired Texas Ranger, called back into duty with one mission in mind, to capture Bonnie and Clyde. A seasoned law enforcer with a reputation for tenacity, Frank was no stranger to danger, and he was ready to bring the infamous couple to justice. Bonnie and Clyde, however, weren't going to make it easy. They were cunning, always on the move, zigzagging across state lines and using their charm to win allies and hideouts. They were elusive and unpredictable, making it difficult for law enforcement to pin them down. But Frank Hamer was not deterred. He studied their patterns, their habits. He knew they were attracted to the thrill of the chase, that they thrived on danger. Yet, he also knew that their love for each other was their greatest strength and their most profound weakness. He used this knowledge to his advantage, setting traps, predicting their next moves. It was a high-stakes game of chess, a dance of danger and deception. Bonnie and Clyde would slip through the fingers of the law time and time again, leaving a trail of chaos in their wake. But Frank Hamer, with his indomitable will, was always right behind them, never giving up the chase. The couple's audacious exploits were capturing the nation's attention. Newspapers splashed their daring escapes and narrow misses across front pages. The public was hooked, captivated by this real-life drama unfolding before their eyes. 
Yet behind the sensational headlines, the grim reality of Bonnie and Clyde's life on the run was far from glamorous. They were constantly on edge, living in fear, never knowing if the next encounter with law enforcement would be their last. The chase was on, a game of cat and mouse with Bonnie and Clyde always one step ahead. But for how long? Every story has an end, and for Bonnie and Clyde, theirs was as dramatic as their lives. In the heart of the Louisiana backroads, their final chapter was set to unfold. The notorious pair had spent two relentless years on the run, always one step ahead of the law, but even the wiliest of foxes can't outrun the hounds forever. Their relentless pursuer, retired Texas Ranger Frank Hamer, was closing in, ready to bring their crime spree to a definitive end. Bonnie and Clyde believed they were invincible, perhaps even immortal. After all, they'd managed to evade capture for so long, their names echoing across the nation. But Hamer was a seasoned hunter, a man who'd spent his life in the pursuit of justice. He cornered them in Gibsland, Louisiana, and set his trap. The morning of May 23, 1934, dawned like any other. Unbeknownst to Bonnie and Clyde, it would be their last. As they drove down a deserted rural road, a posse of law enforcement officers lay in wait, the air was heavy with tension. And then, the ambush. A hailstorm of bullets ended the lives of the infamous couple, bringing their tumultuous journey to a sudden and violent end. In the aftermath, Bonnie and Clyde were mythologized, their story romanticized by the media and later Hollywood. Their end was far from glamorous, their lives fraught with desperation. But their story, the tale of two lovers against the world, captured the public's imagination. In the years following their deaths, Bonnie and Clyde became symbols of rebellion, their love story intertwined with their life of crime. They remain, even now, figures of fascination, their tale a reminder of a time when two people dared to defy the world, driven by ambition, desperation, and above all, love. Their story ended in a hail of bullets, a grim finale to a tale of love, crime, and desperation. Their legacy, however, lives on, a testament to the enduring power of their story. Their death marked the end of their spree, but the beginning of their legend, Bonnie and Clyde met their fate in Gibsland, Louisiana. Their lives abruptly ended in a hail of bullets. But death was not the final chapter in their story. Buried separately in Dallas, they were denied their wish to be together even in death. Yet their legacy was far from being buried. Their story, a twisted tale of love and crime, seeped into the fabric of popular culture. A narrative of two lovers bound by ambition and a shared disdain for the law resonated with a public fascinated by their audacity. Their tale was immortalized in a 1967 film, a far cry from their gritty reality, yet a testament to their enduring influence. In the end, Bonnie and Clyde were more than just a notorious couple. They were symbols of rebellion, their love story a stark reminder of a desperate time. Bonnie and Clyde, a testament to the power of love and the lengths people will go to defy the odds. Their story lives on, a grim reminder of a desperate time.